morning everyone welcome back to the channel welcome back to the vlogs if you guys are new here my name is jenna and i am so happy that you're here today's a friday and i am working from home because i skipped two of them when i had a seminar and then another work project so making up that second work from home friday and i do have a half day so that's just a little added bonus it is 11.15 now. I got up at 7.30, signed on, started doing some stuff. And then I made myself some breakfast about an hour ago. So weird. Normally I'm hungry the second that I get up, but today I waited such a long time before making breakfast and I was like really, really hungry. I definitely shouldn't have waited that long, but I ate at like 10.30, which is so weird for me. Um, and then I'm just gonna make a little coffee now. But I just wanted to mention that I have been setting a goal for myself to eat before I drink coffee because I know that coffee curbs my appetite and it's actually been working out really well. So this morning I just had like cheesy eggs and a piece of toast. There's nothing on the planet like a piece of buttered toast. So simple, but so good. And then I've been chugging some water. I don't know why I woke up so thirsty this morning, but this is my second glass. So that's the other thing is like making sure that I'm drinking water with the coffee because obviously we don't want to get dehydrated, we want to prevent all the wrinkles. So I'm going to make my coffee at home this morning. I went on a walk when I woke up and I almost got one when I was out, but I was like, no, we just got a bunch of Nespresso pods and I want to try one of the new ones. So I'm going to show you guys how I make my coffee. Hopefully the bodega milk hasn't gone bad yet. <laughs> um, and then I am going to throw some laundry in. So my room looks a little bit disheveled and the sheets are off the bed and all that kind of stuff. I have to put the new set on and then wash the ones that I just took off, but someone was downstairs playing some like weird music when I went to check to see if the machines were available. So I'm just gonna wait a little bit longer before doing that. And then I kind of wanna use the second half of the day and just go and walk around in Flatiron and have a little shopping day. So I don't think I'm really gonna be in the mood to buy anything, but I wanna just shop and see what's around. So I will take you guys over there with me as well. So lots of exciting things going on today in the city. If you guys are not subscribed to my channel already, make sure you do. I would absolutely love to have you and we have so much fun in New York City over here. And I hope you guys have all been enjoying it. If you are subscribed, like I mentioned before, we have a lot of fun and exciting things coming up so you don't want to miss any of it and yeah i just love my little fam over here and i'm so excited to see it growing so gonna get my coffee ready to go now i'm not an expert at all but you guys will be able to tell when i start to make it it seems really dark in here but i think the lighting is actually better when i have the lights off otherwise it's like super yellow i'll just show you yeah not cute okay so hopefully you guys can see but these are all of the pods that I have. These were the newest ones that I got in my last vlog that you guys would have seen. And I think I want to do the Arafio and not the double espresso just because when I go to Flatiron later, I might stop into Ralph's just because I love it there and I haven't been in a few weeks. Actually, it's been like a month. Um, I've just been trying newer places and stuff, which I'm happy about, but gotta love a Ralph's coffee. So we're going to do this one. It's a single shot of espresso and I have the Virtuo next. Um, coffee machine from Nespresso. Oh, that was so aggressive. Um, and it used to fit perfectly fine on our counter because it's very slim, as you guys can see on the side here. And we used to keep it over here on the counter. But now that we have a bar cart, um, me and Carson thought it'd be cute to do like a little coffee bar on top and then all the liquors on the bottom for like other stuff. Um, another cool thing Nespresso does is that they have these little like recycling bags. So when you clean out all your pods, you can just mail this back to Nespresso and they'll recycle them for you, which I think is so great. Anyway, getting off topic, there's water back here and I'm just gonna press the button. Oh, wait, I need to put a glass there. No, 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 sir. <sighs> okay, didn't even plan that, but just a little example of how inexperienced I am. So we've got my butler glass. This is the only thing I want to drink my lattes out of lately because I am obsessed with butler and when I can't make it down there for coffee, I will just make it in this glass and pretend like it's from there. Um, honestly, sometimes mine is just as good as like a store-bought one. So that's why I don't mind making it at home. Then I'll just fill 
a cup with milk to like, I don't know. I kind of just eyeball it, which is probably not what you're supposed to do. But I just kind of like want to get the color that I normally like. And then I'm just using the Tarani French Vanilla Syrup. I'm going to do one capful because I did two capfuls of my caramel syrup the last time I made it in this glass and it was too sweet if you guys can believe it I already love my coffee sweet and then I'll just pour the espresso in oh we got a little foam there and I didn't even have to buy the extra foamer for a hundred dollars got a glass straw mix it all together and then I'll just see if the color is what I want it to be this looks pretty good, honestly. Maybe it's a little bit light, but I think it's because the proportion of the coffee is just one shot of espresso. Looks really nice and creamy though. And there you have it. And I think I also just called the milk frother a foamer. Definitely not the word for it, um, but I'm just gonna clean everything up now. Literally took me two seconds. And honestly, this coffee with the cost of like one cap full of syrup i've had this since january you guys so this lasts super super long and it's supposed to expire a year from september so september 2023 obviously we're not going to make it until that point um i'm actually pretty surprised at how much i use these syrups i also have the caramel one here that's a little bit um less filled this is the one i actually brought to work with me huge tip if you guys have like crappy coffee at work um i would make it iced and then Oh my gosh, I forgot to smell the milk before I put it in there. Okay, this smells spoiled. Oh my God, please don't tell me. Sell by 8-6. It's literally the 27th. No, it's the 29th today. So a week from now is the sell by date and it smells rotten. That is just ridiculous. Oh my God. Well, I'm gonna try the coffee and see if it's fine. Anyway, so I was saying that I will take my syrups to work with me and just make an iced coffee at work and then pour the syrup in. And it makes the coffee taste like a thousand times better, which I'm so happy about because we have a Starbucks at work, but I don't wanna spend $5 on a coffee when I want it. So it's just really nice to have the option of like using the free coffee. Wow, oh, the lighting over here is terrible. <laughs> but it's nice to just be able to still use the free coffee and then just have it tastes just as good as what I'm making at home. So I guess I'll sample this on camera just because I feel like it'd be funny if it was rotten and I spit it out. Okay, here we go. Okay, it actually tastes fine. I don't know why I put that milk back in the fridge. It's definitely going to be rotten by tomorrow. Um, but that's what we're rolling with right now. Wow, gotta love this angle. Okay, for whatever reason, this just makes me so happy. I am like a highly visual person. I think that's how I like end up choosing my outfits and stuff if we're going really deep in on it. But like, this just looks so pretty. Like the wood, the coffee, I'm gonna stop talking now because you guys are probably thinking I'm so weird. <laughs> I kind of have you guys angled away from the bed a little bit just because it's fully not made, which is fine. It's not like it's messy or anything, but I, guys, this is a purchase that I'm like so mad about. It's not even funny. Like, I don't even want to talk about it, but obviously I'm human and I need to share these things with you guys. It's very uncharacteristic for me, so I just find it really interesting. But in this Amazon box, I have a pair of AirPods. And something else that I also have in my possession is two of these. So as you can see, no AirPods inside. Um, that's what makes this 10 times worse is because I didn't just like lose one AirPod and then I was like, oh, whatever, I'll just stick with one. And that's what makes it worse because I didn't just lose one AirPod and be like, I have to get a new set. I fully like lost the left one, lost the right one, got a new set. Lost the right one, lost the left one, got a new set. That's not my lefts and rights, but I have lost two sets of AirPods now. It's like so embarrassing to me. I can't even believe I'm admitting this to people because I pride myself on taking such good care of my stuff. And this is just me being irresponsible. And the fact that I like have to buy these and have to is like a very strong 
phrase, but I use these to edit my videos while I'm on the bus. And if you guys have noticed, like for example, I have a vlog that's from last Monday and today's Friday and I'm putting it up like four days later than I filmed it. And it's because I haven't been able to edit on the bus and at work I've been like either taking my lunch or skipping my lunch and going home um, a little bit earlier and just working through lunch. And so I just haven't had the opportunity. And honestly, like when I'm at work, I don't love like taking in the middle of the day to switch to like my other work because it just throws me off a little bit. And I either want to be doing stuff for my nine to five job or just not doing anything at all and like relaxing during my lunch break. So the bus is really the time that I take to edit all my videos. And um, so I use AirPods for that, obviously. I could get headphones or whatever, <laughs> but um, the corded ones that I have don't have a um, little jack in my computer. So that was really inconvenient that Apple makes air, uh, headphones for their phones that you can't plug into your computer. So I would have had to get a converter and all that stuff. And I obviously I use these to like run and all that kind of stuff. The good thing about the corded ones though, was that I had my phone on the treadmill and because I'm connected to the cord, it like forced me to like run consistently fast the entire time because if I like got too far away from the front they would like rip out of my ears which is so annoying um but yeah so airpod pair number three this better be third time's the charm there's no other solution like this is the last time I'm buying them if I end up losing them I'm getting those big fat embarrassing ones that everyone has I mean to each their own I just think that they're a little bit bulky for my minimal lifestyle <laughs> so that's just something that came in I also have a package from Bandier that I want to show you guys, but maybe I'll do that a little bit later. Um, just as another little update, I requested for a virtual apartment tour today, or yesterday technically, I asked like last night at like 10 p.m. when I was home from work and looking through. It's like the most gorgeous apartment. Unfortunately, because I'm not moving out for, what is it, August? I have August and September still in this apartment. Um, so I won't be moving out for two months and that apartment will definitely be gone by then. Um, but I just wanna get in touch with the broker on it and stuff so that I can maybe ask if they have other units in the building or if he has other buildings that he will have available by the time that we come out of um, this lease just because the process is very difficult and being able to make it as simple as possible is like what we need to go for. My friend who I'm moving in with is actually taking the bar. Today's the last day of her taking the bar. I'm like so crazy proud of her she really made it through she's like the smartest cookie and i'm just so excited for her that this is also like over because she is like such a like social butterfly and loves her friends loves to hang out with her family and she's been locking herself in her room to study so i know that i don't have that self-discipline i think i need like a sliver of her self-discipline in order to be successful and yeah, it's finally over. So we can just start getting excited about everything. I have like dishware and stuff that I showed you guys a while back from Fable that I'm really excited to use just because it's like, it's like me if I were a dinner set, which is kind of weird. And then um, I also have the, conveniently I have the milk bottles here because we only have three of them out in our um, cabinet right now. I'm obviously gonna ask Amanda to make sure that she actually likes these because it's her apartment too. And I don't wanna just like get glass glassware without her saying that she likes them too. I'm sure she won't care, but um, yeah, it's gonna be like a joint effort. We have very similar um, interior styles. So I'm really excited to show you guys like what we pick out for furniture. Me and Carson split um, the cost of our couch here. So we're just gonna decide who wants to like buy the other out and take the couch with them. I'm sure it's gonna depend on like what spaces we end up in. Um, and we'll figure that out. But yeah, I'm just really excited. I love interior so much. I had so much fun doing my room here that I'm like so excited to like do a living room and a kitchen and all that kind of stuff. So yeah, good things coming. We're excited and I will obviously be filming all of it. So I am just going to finish out the work day. I have like an hour and a half left, which is crazy. I feel like this day went by so fast. And then I will talk to you guys in a bit when I'm getting ready to go to Flatiron. All right, y'all, work day is done. It's 1.54, not sure how that happened, but I'm ready. I just put on a really simple outfit to go 
and do my little shopping day. So I have on this Zara bodysuit. I'm sure you guys have seen it before on a million different people, but I am gonna actually link the Abercrombie one that looks exactly like this. It's just better quality. And mine has peeled a little bit in the back. You can't tell on the black one, but you can tell on my white one. So I'll just link the other one just because it's nicer. And then these are Abercrombie dad shorts. You guys can't see anything. Let me see if I could just put this down a little. Okay, so these are the dad shorts. I just wanted an outfit that was gonna be like really simple, but also look a little bit more put together because I feel like I have been going out in public in my sweats a lot lately, which is normal. Like if I didn't live in the city, I wouldn't feel any type of way about it. But because like I'm in one of the fashion capitals of the world, I feel like I need to look a little bit more elevated and chic. So I feel like this is a nice, like simple summertime look. The other thing is that it's 86 degrees out. So if it was cooler, I could throw over like a linen shirt or something like that to make it look um, even better. But this is what we're going with on top. Then I just have my Nike Dunks on the bottom. I kind of like these with black. So I went with those. And then we have my little Polen bag, which you guys have seen so many times. And then I'm also bringing this little tote because I have an umbrella in here. The rain is like... I don't know, it's not supposed to rain, but it keeps pushing back and back. So it was supposed to be at one and that's kind of why I waited a little bit before leaving so that I wouldn't get rained on. And now it says two o'clock. So that's right now, but I don't wanna delay like going at like 3 p.m. or something. So I'm just gonna go now. And then I also have my sunglasses. I might not need them because as I just said, it might rain, but it is pretty bright out. So I'm gonna bring them anyway, just in case. Also look what I did. This has been like this since like the second week of me having sunglasses, but none of my other Ray-Ban cases have ever ripped before. So maybe this one is just effective. Um, in my bag, I'm just bringing my card holder and my Summer Fridays lip balm because you guys know I'm obsessed with that and I've been wearing it nonstop since I got it last weekend. So this is the fit, you can't see anything. <laughs> um, but I'm gonna head out now. I decided to do my laundry later tonight because obviously I wanna go out and do stuff during the day while it's so light out. And then tonight I'll just have like a chill laundry night. And the good thing is that no one ever does laundry on Friday night. So I know that the machines will be free and all that good stuff. So let's head out. I think I love it. I don't know. What do you think? It's a really good fit. <laughs> Sleep length is really long. This is also small, so it's a little oversized. But I love the colors in it, and I've been looking for a blazer like this for a really long time. I'll insert a picture of the one that I've been eyeing. I mean, it even looks cute with shorts for like fall. And then going into winter with like all black and boots underneath. So cute. Okay, I'm currently on my way home. Had some success today in the stores, as you guys have seen through the clips, but I will show you everything that I picked up when I get home. It's a little bit gloomy out here, but it actually didn't rain, so that was really nice. This guy's turning around staring at me. <laughs> I'm also just insanely proud of myself because I wanted to get a coffee at Ralph's, as I mentioned to you guys before, and I just walked right by it. Actually, I had to walk up a little bit and I just decided not to. So that worked out anyway. And I think it was because I just spent money on this item in here that I was holding myself back. And also the fact that I haven't eaten lunch yet, which I totally forgot about. So I'm gonna go back and have a little something. And if I wanna make a coffee later in the day, I can do that with my rotten milk. It is time for the unboxing, you guys. I have this little bag here. So I went into the coach store. This wasn't planned or anything. I had not seen the bag. And basically what happened was <laughs> I went in the store and was just looking around. It was dead in there. There were three essays. No one was in there being helped. And so they kind of were like all saying hi to me, which was like a little bit of pressure because they're definitely paying attention. And then I was like walking around the store by myself. And then I come to the other side where all three of them were. 
and the one guy was like, oh, is there anything in particular you came in for? Or no, he said, when was the last time you were in a coach store? Like, welcome in. And I was like, I don't think you want to know when the last time it was because I've never bought something from the coach store. I bought this bag actually from Bloomingdale's. So I didn't even go inside of a coach store for this one. So I was like, you know, telling him it's been a really long time. And he said, well, is there any like style that you've had your eye on? And I literally turned around and I was like, oh, I think it's this one. And I said that like kind of not thinking. And I was just like, I mean, that looks like a bag I'd want to try on. And I was just like moseying around having fun by myself. So I was like, I'll just try it on anyway. And then I kind of fell in love with it. So I'm going to insert the photo of the two bags that I saw in the store. And it's called the Coach Hero bag. So one of them has the cream and the brown, which is a really nice, unique color, but the strap was then a chestnut color. And I just thought that it was too many tones. The other one was all black, which I have a ton of all black bags. I have this black one from Coach. The strap on this one is also black. And I just, I just know what I like and I know what I wear all year round. And I do enjoy owning bags that are like not, too high of a price point. Not saying that this is cheap by any means. I think it's $3.95 full price, but it's not a $2,000 Saint Laurent bag. So to me, I think that this is a really good quality, like genuine leather item to buy if you want something that's gonna last in your collection. I can't even tell you how many times I've worn this bag and the amount of people that ask me about it still, even though I can't get it in stores anymore, it's just crazy. So i love this coach bag i've used it so many times and it's held up so so well so i knew that the brand itself wasn't gonna screw me over <laughs> um but so then i ended up going with and i'm sure you guys can all guess but i went with the all black she is just stunning so this is the hero bag as i said before it comes in one size larger than this, but it reminded me so much of my sunset bag. So I didn't want to get that larger size. And I just loved this shape with this horse bit detail with like a big coat in the winter time. It looks really good. I was wearing this black bodysuit and shorts and I had it on. I'll insert that picture here too, because I took so many pictures, um, but it looks so good with a summer outfit. And then I knew it would look really cute with um, like winter coats and stuff. So this is the inside of the bag. You have two compartments. It fits less than this bag, because you could see that this one's a little wider, but I'm sure this one can stretch probably to be this width. This one is just like, it has a panel on the bottom, whereas this one is kind of accordion style. So you have like the nice canvas material on the inside with the coach tag. And the other one that I have also has this like dark burgundy um, interior lining too. And then what I love about this one is the closure. It doesn't have a tab on it. You kind of just click it shut. And that's so easy when you're going in and out of your bag all the time to just click it in and out. Um, and then it comes with a leather strap. So that's fantastic. I was concerned that it didn't have an adjustable loop on it, but it did. I think it just fell off the bag or it was in the dust bag or something. So I have it adjusted all the way to the shortest length just because I like for my bags to sit a little bit higher. And then I'm just going to click this on quickly. And you have like a nice, like, thickness of a leather strap. The one that I have for this bag is thinner than this one. So this one's just more of a statement, especially when you're wearing like big coats and stuff. I think it's gonna look really cute, but I'm just obsessed. You guys know that I love like minimal lines and really classic things that I can wear over and over. And they also sell a gold chain that you can click onto this too. And it's $35. So you can order the gold chain in addition to having this bag. And then there's another way to wear it because you can wear it crossbody with the chain or you can feed the chain through and have it as a shoulder bag. So with an extra $35, you have two more ways to wear this. And I just think it's going to be so versatile, even if I don't buy the chain. Um, but I absolutely love this. The only dilemma that I have now, and I'm actually deciding, I'm going to show you guys the picture of the other one. Actually, I'll just insert a photo. So you guys, the reason why I didn't get the... Um, white one because I thought it was really really cool and I loved the colors of it and I don't own any black I mean brown bags but um, the trim on that was cream as you guys saw but 
I looked online because I was like, I want to see if I can find this on sale somewhere or maybe on a website that offers like 10% off your first purchase or anything. And if I do find that, I'll link that option for you guys as opposed to linking the coach website. Um, but I found a version of this bag that is a combination between the all black and the one with the white trim. So basically it's black on the outsides with brown, the same brown that is on the one with the cream trim and so I'm like that's the best of both worlds and it's also on sale so I ordered it from Macy's and it's going to come within the next three to six days so I have 30 days to return this one I mean I love a black bag my entire handbag collection is black basically and I just don't really wear my white ones as much so I don't mind owning another black bag I wish I was more experimental with it but I really just didn't like the cream strap, I mean the chestnut strap on the other bag. So it's basically everything that I want and when it comes in, I am just gonna decide at that point, cause look at it. It's just, it reminds me of like the Louis Vuitton colorings and this looks so dumb. Um, it reminds me of the Louis Vuitton coloring and I just love that, but I don't know that I would spend money on a Louis Vuitton right now. The other one that I saw is this color combination. So it's canvas and this like chestnut brown leather. It looks like Celine or Hermes. It just has that vibe to it, but for such a better price and you could fit so much stuff in here. They even have like a little section here that like what fits in the bag and stuff. So I'm gonna link this one. I think this is a perfect summer bag, um, especially if you're someone who wears a ton of neutrals. And then I'll also link the one that has the black trim. So it's the same one I showed you guys, but just has that brown in the center, which I really love. So that's where I'm at with these. I'm either gonna keep the all black one or um, keep the one with the brown, but we will find that out in another vlog. because so I will obviously, when the other one comes in, show you guys it. I'll try it on with different outfits and stuff and we'll decide then. The other thing that I picked up was this little, and it's so funny because I have everything shoved into my bag. Unfortunately, this blazer is only available in store. So that's kind of annoying but I got a little checked blazer and you guys saw this on in the store. This is the first time I vlogged while shopping. So here, here. <laughs> um, and I wasn't embarrassed because I was like, there's 80,000 people in the store. I don't think they're gonna like look at me weird. And I was in a dressing room. And then I also got these crew socks because um, I only have white ones and they're like the tall ones that you scrunch down, which is fine. But with my Nike Dunks, I feel like I don't have socks to wear with those. And I thought that this color matched really well because I was wearing them. And then this cream color goes exactly with them. Even the dark gray I would wear and then just a plain white and black pair. And these were $8. So I can link these for you guys. I think they're available online, but that's my collective haul from everything I got today. I also went into Muji. I almost bought more pens and like that would have been so dumb. So it's a good thing I didn't, I refrained. Um, but yeah, so right now I'm just gonna put this stuff away. I have a video to edit and then I kind of want to watch some YouTube and just chill because I'm gonna have to do my laundry later and I took my duvet off of here. It just needed to be done. It's like in the bathroom. I just don't want to look at it. It was like getting pretty grubby. So I wanted to switch it out. And I think when I move into my next apartment, I will get a new bedspread. So that'll be nice and fun and refreshing, but not like blowing a bunch of money on it. Obviously I still have this insert that still goes inside so the only thing i'll have to pay for is the duvet which is really nice um but yeah that'll be the plan with that um and i think i'm gonna share this little guy on tiktok and instagram now because i'm kind of obsessed it's a lot later i am just getting ready for bed i just brushed my hair it's like very soft but i feel like it's gonna get greasy and i'm gonna have to wash it tomorrow um but i use my tangle teaser I also just realized that my sideburns are like very bad. So I'm gonna take my face shaver and just take care of that. Then I'm also gonna put on my um, teeth whitening pen and skincare is already done. So that's really nice. I just used Dennis Gross peel pads. I should have done all of this with you guys, but to be honest, I'm very tired. It's like 12 a.m. and I'm just really excited to go to sleep. I changed the sheets on my bed. So I just feel like I'm gonna have a very nice long slumber. So thank you guys so much for watching this daily vlog. I hope you all enjoyed it and make sure you're subscribed if you're not. I have lots of new videos coming and I don't want you guys to miss them. 
So I hope you guys are all doing super well and I will see you all in my next video.